So today I'm going to talk about uh, how to practice, or a, one really great way to practice that applies to really any style of music, anything, as long as it's drumming related. Um, in a different lesson I talked about two techniques called the staccato or legato stroke, and basically it's the uh, relationship between accents and non-accented notes. So your accented notes, your non-accented notes, and then when you combine the two. Alright, now this is an exercise that's very simple, and um, again, this can be used for anything. In drum set, snare drum, um, if you're a mallet player, you know, you can permutate ways through it. It's just for anything. Now this first exercise is a drum chord, it's kind of standard, and it's called um, the 16th note grit. And think of the way 16th notes look, and you're moving it through in a regimented way. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, Let's talk about the rhythm. All you're going to play the entire time is 16 notes, just right, left, right, left. So, you know, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. A little slower. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. Now, all you're going to do is just move the accent through that. So, the first measure, all it's on 1. So, the first beat. So, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So, the first measure goes like this. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. Alright? It's important to not end with the accent. The second measure is on the E. So you're taking the accent and you're moving it over one note to the E now. So you have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. Then the next measure is on the and. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. Then on the a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1. Now it's important to note that the entire time I'm playing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So when it's on the 1 and the and, it's going to be a right, right. When it's on the E's and the uh, it's going to be a left. So right, left, da, da, one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh, three, E, and, uh, all right? To help you just get your balance there. Now, this exercise is great for a number of reasons. One, it helps you learn the tap accent ratio, which is just keeping the accents up and your taps down. Stay nice and relaxed, not squeezing the sticks, not being tense. Uh, two, it helps you define the, where the beat is and how where the 16th notes fit along with the quarter notes. So when you have your click going, you have click, click, click. So you have like one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three and four E and a. Right. So that's great. It helps with the click. Now the other thing is, it's just a really easy way to organize your practicing. You do a certain thing, each one's four times, and you loop it together, and it's just a very organized way to practice. Okay, this exercise is often referred to as the four, two, one, because you play the accent, you play the accent four times, and you move it, then you play it twice, and you move it, then you play it one time, and you, remove, and you move it. So, we just went over playing it four times in a row, and here's how you play it just twice. So it would go, like, ready, and play, and one, E, and a, two, E, and a, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, and a, two, E. Okay, so you always connect back. A uh, one again. That's one e and a two e and a 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 uh, uh, just like that. Now one time through is the hardest one. It's a little more awkward. So it goes one right hand one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. All right. So now the other part that's tricky when you put it all together, you do the four accents all the way through one total time, and you do the two accents all the way through twice, and you do the single accent all the way through four times. Okay. So it's like four two one reverse on top of each other backwards. So you do. Uh, four times once, two times twice, and one accent four times. Alright, so here's the whole thing. Um, 
here we go. So ready and play and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one a two E and a three E and a four E and a twice. Now the single accent, we we'll go four times. A, uh, a uh, one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three and four E and a uh, one E and a uh, E and a uh, and four E and a uh, one and a uh, E and a uh, and four E and a uh, one. That's the whole exercise right there. That's it. Now it's important to practice this with the click. You got to get really comfortable with how the accents fit against the click. Or if you're a drum set player, you can do something really easy and just play quarter notes. Doom, chick, doom, chick, doom, chick, doom, chick, 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 And so on. Um, you can swing it, play it with jazz, make it pick like it's like an eighth note. Just feathering, feathering, two and four, and so on. Uh, so that's the basic version of the four-two-one grid. Now uh, see the practice exercises to uh, play along with it slowly and with the click at the different tempos. Alright, now we're going to talk about how you can adapt this towards anything on drum set, on snare drum, and there's a million different ways you can do this. I'm just going to give you uh, really two different ways, and then I'll show you how to do the same thing and the same concept with a different exercise on drum set. So that was with single accents. Now you could do it with double accents. You could go with one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now just move those two accents over right away. So now it becomes, instead of being one E and a, it's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And so we have one E, then E and, now and a. One E and a, two E and a, and then a one. One E and a, two E and a, three, a four. So you put it all together, ready and uh, 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 uh. Again. Uh uh. E and. And a. A one E. E and. And a. A one E. E and. And a. A one E. E and. And a. Alright, now that's just one way to do it, just with double accents. Now you can do it with flams, so you want to just flam each note. So you have flam, 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 onto the E, and, and, and so on. So you can do it with rolls. So you can do single diddles. So like, right, and so on. So faster, you can accent and roll everything else. So on. There's a million things you can do. All right. So see uh, part two of the video here on YouTube to uh, see the rest of the drum set section. Okay. Bye.